Hello everyone, it is Lindsay. Uh, I think it's week three of quarantine and basically I've decided I'm not using my time well at all. Um, the first two weeks were kind of uh, spent snacking on like absolute shit or binge watching Dexter. So I kind of want to make my weeks more productive and I think that a really cool way to do that would be video journaling. You don't really have to watch. It's kind of more for myself, but you're more than welcome to watch. Um, so let's kick it off. Uh, well, one, I have a dog, Lola, and Lola hasn't been really sleeping through the night too much because she thinks my room is too hot. So a lot of the time I'll have to take her all the way downstairs um, two flights of stairs, which by the way, she fights to get back up as in like she'll sit down at the bottom of the stairs and just like wait for me to pick her up. Um, but I have to take her outside and just sit with her or lay with her for a while until she cools down. And then if I want her to come back up to my room, I need to carry her or she overheats. So basically that's my issue right now. Um, so I'm very tired. One, two. Um, I have been doing like actually super good at my workouts recently. I started running. I haven't ran in years. Um, in all honesty, I haven't ran since, um, in college I was like not dating this guy, but I was seeing this guy and, um, there was another girl that was always interested in him. Okay. And so he asked me out a couple times. I said, no, then, you know, back and forth kind of thing. So eventually this other girl was like, I'll date you. And he's like, fine, I think is how it went. So they started dating and every time I'd go to the gym, I would get on the treadmill and all of a sudden she would be right next to me. And the whole time she was running, she was staring and like she didn't try and cover it up. And I think you should try and cover it up for at least maybe your own dignity, but she didn't because she's she might be confident or maybe she just thought she was being sly and she wasn't. Um, yeah, so I haven't ran since then. So that's been like maybe five years. Um, but I was inspired by my friend Abby who runs all the time and does marathons and it's just great. So I tried running and my first run I went like almost five miles and I did that twice last week. And then on Saturday, I was like, I wanna go big. And so I ran um, and like my normal loop and then I kept running. And then I started dying and I had to call my dad and he had to pick me up from where I stopped. But I went seven miles and I was super proud of myself. So um, yeah but the balls of my feet are still kind of sore. I'm not sure if that's because I don't have great running shoes or if that's just cause um, I'm not used to running right now. Cool, so that's beside the point. Now that I have that out of the way, the other workouts I do are kind of like HIIT workouts. Um, uh, sometimes I just make up my own strength ones and then go running, that's new, but yes. Uh, usually I work out for like an hour to an hour and a half. Um, like is the main part of my workout and in the mornings when I wake up I'm trying to do yoga or like a mobility type stretch thing because I'm trying to get more flexible because right now um I like can barely touch my toes and that's not good so that's what I'm trying to do with that am I doing very good no but I am trying I'm eating drag like frozen dragon fruit pieces they're really um good, but they stain my tongue, so I look funny. I'll show you. See, yeah. So, um, I'm still having to work. I'm working like seven to three ish every day. Sometimes eight to four. It just kind of depends. And during work, I do pretty good at um, working. <laughs> I do actually, but I do get it working and I do get it not snacking. Mostly that's because I'm, I'm in a pattern. Uh, I do intermittent fasting just because, um, I want to. 
Well, I guess if you really want like a real reason, it's because once I start eating, I literally cannot get the self-control to stop eating. And so um, I'll, I'll like kind of binge on my calories. And I don't calorie count, but it's more of like um, if I start eating at like 8 a.m., then I'll eat literally like four or five meals. But if I start eating at 10, I eat three meals. So I eat like the normal amount of food in less amount of time and that's just kind of how my body works now and does best. Cool. Um, as for self care stuff, uh, I, I have a hair mask and I've done it once. Um, I've shaved my legs. Yeah, that's about it. I forgot to put sunscreen on, so I got a little burnt. What the heck? My neighbors are putting their trash out and they're loud. But I don't wanna close my window, because it's nice out. Cool. So, um, I know I'm super white. That's a bad way, but I know I'm very pale. And I have tanning stuff. And I want to just try it because it's pretty old, so it might be bad, which means it just kind of be like a weird color. So I might try doing like a self tan thing and see how it goes. One, it, this stuff does not come natural to me. Any beauty stuff at all, not not natural. So maybe I'll try that and record it um, and just see how it goes. I panic a lot with stuff like that. Oh my god. He's rearranging his trash cans. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, it doesn't come natural, so it kind of takes um, a, a lot of uh, persuading for me to do things like that. Um, but anyways, maybe I'll try that. I also bought a, uh, what is it called? Eyeshadow. I bought an eyeshadow palette that's like not the nudes. Cause I've gotten, I've gotten pretty good at the nudes and I'm comfortable. I know the way I do it isn't how you're supposed to. I do like a light and then a very abrupt line. Like I don't know how to blend. So we're just gonna say that not blending is really cool and trendy so I feel better about it. But I bought a palette that's like a blue, like under the sea type of palette. And I've been trying it out and I kind of like it. And I wore like blue eyeshadow, but kind of in the form of like a liner, I guess, to the grocery store. And I got a lot of compliments. But I don't know if they're making fun of me. You know how sometimes like you see someone do something you would never do and like you really don't like that they're doing it, but you say something anyways. I don't know if it's that situation or if they actually liked it. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I have face masks, like the little blackhead strips because gotta do what you gotta do. And then, um, my hair looks greasy, you guys, but it's not. I swear I showered today. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so I have beauty stuff I could do. I have feet masks my dad got me because, um, once upon a time, I had athlete's foot for like seven years in a row and, you know, does, just doesn't go away overnight but it might go away in quarantine. And that might be the plus of quarantine. Yes, I am trying to read a book. Um, I haven't done very good. And it's a book on how to make money. So as of right now, I'm still extremely um, out of money. Cool. So um, yes, I'm going to try doing that. And then I'm also gonna see if people will buy prints of my paintings on Etsy. I think it'd be a cool way to make money. Um, I can just leave them there and then if someone ever wants to buy one, I just make a print. I think that's a really cool, uh, sustainable way in case someone ever wants to buy a painting. Um, people have been saying that my paintings are like kind of out of the box and weird and uh, I've also gotten um, put into the category of my paintings making people feel uncomfortable. Well, just to put it out there, I would say uh, my mind thinks a certain way that a lot of people's don't. Um, I would say I'm creative, but kind of in a different aspect. And I do enjoy death, eyeballs, skulls, skeletons of any sort, and pop art. I like that category but in a different realm. Cool. 
Um, I guess a lot of you haven't seen paintings I've done, but I have a whole wall of them here. Um, that is a joke and that's a joke, but these two are very serious. That's when I was really young and didn't know what to do. And that is a mock-up of um, a painting I made my parents when I was younger. Cool. So, and right now I am in the middle of making another painting for my coronavirus collection. I'm, I guess you could call it, which I think will be nice as well. I took a four mile walk today after work and I got really tired from it. So I'm trying to, you can actually see how tired I am right now. I'm trying to wake myself up by eating fruit. Um, but really I know the one thing that would wake me up is uh, drinking my energy drink that I have downstairs. But if I drink that at this point, I won't sleep for three days. So I can't do that. But I just kind of wanted to sit down and give you a little update of where I'm at now. And now that I have this basis, I can give you a day-to-day -day update, AKA me who will watch this back at some point in life. Cool? Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I downloaded TikTok. Not to do TikToks, but um, I, I don't really understand what it is because I never had Vine, but I'm trying to uh, give it a chance. I don't really like the dances or the singing ones, but I do really enjoy like the cooking ones or where people are eating and you're just watching them eat. I think that's more my realm. And maybe I'll do TikToks like that as well. We'll see. Well, anyways, today, let's see. Oof. I don't know what today is. Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, but I'll come at you with the date tomorrow. Goodbye for now.